Hey, you guys, it's your girl, T. So I want to come on here and talk about the whole Daniel Hortz class situation. Um, so this situation is really sad. It's about a cop in Oklahoma who had been arrested for raping 13 black women. Just the other day, he was tried and convicted, and he's now looking at over 20 years in prison. This entire case is just extremely disturbing. Roland Martin is also calling out the mainstream media and other news outlets saying that, you know, why was this not broadcasted? Why is this not being shown to the world press? You know, why is TV One the only national news organization covering this? This. I want you guys to go ahead and watch these video clips. I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Yeah. I didn't know what to do. I was so afraid. I was afraid for my life. I kept begging him, sir, please don't make me do this. Don't make me do this, sir. Please, you're gonna shoot me. He said, I'm not gonna shoot you. I said, yeah, you're gonna shoot me. The only thing I could see was my life flash before my eyes and the gun on, in his holster on his right side. And as I tried to look up at his name, I was afraid to because I said if I know his name, I know he's going to kill me. I was, I mean, I was scared. I didn't know what to do. I, I felt like I was in survival mode, so I had to do what he was making me do. These women didn't know one another. So how would they all be able to tell the same story over and over? And I sat in the courtroom as an officer of the court, really concerned that would justice elude them like it had eluded so many others in our community. If you're hosting a show, Don Lemon, how are you not covering this, how are you not covering this story? A cop allegedly raping 13 women? Yeah, I think somebody can find time on the 24 hour news cycle to cover this story. I want to thank Roland Martin and TV News One because they were the only national outlet that covered this story. All right, so you guys just watched the news clips, and like I said, this entire situation is just extremely disturbing. You know, one thing that bothers me about this entire situation is that I feel like it went on as long as it did because it was pertaining to black women. And I feel like sometimes as black women, our plight is just simply not taken as seriously. You know, a lot of times we're looked at as overly sexual. You know, what did we do? Did we come on to the police officer? Whereas if these were white women, I think if the first victim would have came out and this was a white woman that came out, this would have been thoroughly investigated from day one but it took upwards of almost seven women to come to press charges on this officer before their demands were taken seriously so that part of the equation really really bothers me you know now as far as the national news media not covering this i'm not really surprised you know it does not fit their narrative it's not like these women were shot it seems like the national news media only wants to focus on you know news when it's concerning the police officer shooting a black man but when it's concerning this police officer raping 13 black women you know that doesn't make national news even though it's disheartening even though it's hurtful that the national news media did not run with this story at the end of the day justice was served this man was found guilty so his punk ass can cry as much as he wants to cry but he deserves everything coming his way you know he literally terrified these women he used his position as a police officer and somebody in a position of authority he used that to rape women and take their dignity from them and I bet you anything there's probably way more than 13 victims this man didn't just start doing this there's probably a lot of victims out here that he's been victimizing this just didn't happen overnight he's probably been doing this for a long long time and i'm just glad you know even though that these news clips keep trying to proclaim an all-white jury as if that should you know mean anything i'm just glad at the end of the day that the jury regardless if it was all white or all black found him guilty and that he will be spending the next several years if not the rest of his life in prison so anyways let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment how do you feel about this entire situation with daniel hallclaw um do you feel like the reason why the mainstream media is not covering this because you know it's mainly concerning black women and then how do you feel about the fact that he wanted to break down in tears during his sentencing so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces hey you guys it's your girl t make sure to subscribe like and share my videos you can also visit lovely t com to purchase any merchandise also don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos talk to y'all later deuces